Welcome to Clare House. This video is an introduction to the services we offer at Clare House. We really recognise that every single child and family that gets referred to Clare House is very unique and individual and we want the support that you receive to be equally as unique and individual. I'm Claire and I run the community daycare team. We're very family led so we go at the family's pace. Everyone has different needs and wishes so we very much aim to build relationships and it's great for some peer support and to make some nice happy memories. We also do uh, stay and play group sessions so we offer some stories and massage and play and do some music and some nice relaxing things as well. So whether we do a, a group and we've got some soft mats and we've got some sensory toys out and different games and things going on or it's a teen lounge and we've got like the bean bags and things we just cater for whoever's in at that session. I'm Alex, I'm a therapeutic support worker here at Clare House and I work for the family support team. My job is more of a just a good listening ear for children and adults to offload to. I work in one-to-one -one rooms with children and families. Uh, this gives them the time and space to open up and know that it's protected and confidential. So I organise the sibling events that we run at Clare House. Um, we try to run one sibling event a month on average. Some of the ones that uh, jump out at me, we went and stayed overnight in the Natural History Museum in London. That was fantastic. I think the most important thing families get is just really good support, consistency, and also building relationships with other families as well, I think is really important. My name is Lauren. I'm the Playing Activities team leader and part of the play team. We plan and organise some fun, fabulous activities. Every activity is independent led and they're doing it themselves, not us, and that is what play is about. We are blessed with such amazing specialised equipment. We have an amazing thing called an eye gaze. Children who haven't got the physical ability to hold a paintbrush, they can be calibrated onto basically a big iPad and they can paint with their eyes. When children come and stay with us, they're expected to have fun, get a little bit messy and also create great memories. When they come in for respite or daycare and they do their activities, we take loads of photos. I mean, it's full on memory making. And the great thing is that when they go home, they take loads of artwork. So parents have that forever and every picture lasts a lifetime. My name's Aisha and I am one of the hospice lead nurses. I work within the care team, so my role is to provide clinical leadership on the floor, ensuring that the shift is running effectively, smoothly, safely. The room that we're in at the moment is set up for a child with quite significant complex health needs and we train our staff up to that high level to look after their children. So in this room we've got our AVO2 machine which is predominantly for our children with tracheostomies. Some of our children who have got quite um, severe complex health needs are on invasive ventilators 24-7. It's a huge responsibility and honour to have families put their trust in us to care for their beautiful children and I think everyone I work with puts the heart and soul into to what we do. My name's Elaine, I'm a healthcare support worker. So we have specialist beds that the children have, we have feeding equipment, overhead we have tracking, if a child is immobile they'll have their own slings, we also have mats that they can be brought in, play team can come in and play, we've got plenty of space for the child to enjoy their time at Clare House. My name's Katie Fox and I'm the Occupational Therapist at Clare House. I help children to think about the things that they need and want to do but might struggle or find difficult. So that might mean for your child when they come in, they'll bring all their equipment that they use at home and we'll try and replicate the environment here so it's similar to being at home. A lot of children who come into Clare House have sensory challenges so they find they can't cope with a lot of loud noise or with textures and touch so I'll look at advising staff here on how to kind of manage sensitivity so that your child can feel calm and regulated and just manage the environment a lot better. I think the most important thing that families get from Clare House is to feel supported and listened to and know their child is in safe hands so that they can get the well-deserved respite that they need and deserve. My name is Laura, I work as a clinical therapy assistant. My work involves working alongside our occupational therapist, doing sensory programmes and our physiotherapist doing hydrotherapy and programmes on what we say dry land. When the children come, they will get in the pool with myself or the physiotherapist. 
We've got pool trolleys, pool chairs, so every child, regardless, can access our pool. We can use the toys to make them see that it's a fun session rather than it's an exercise. But if they come as a family, it's just gorgeous family time here at Clare House. My name's Claire and I'm a palliative care nurse specialist. My work involves looking after children and families when the child is at their end of life. The children usually have so many medicines, different equipment that they need to use, and we take on that side of caring for the child. While the parents just get to be mum and dad, they get to do the nice things with the child. It's just a lovely, peaceful, calm environment. We've only got one chance to ensure that the child and the family have a, a peaceful time at Clare House and make lots of memories, and that, that's the best thing to me, is the memory making. My name's Sheila. I'm part of the Butterfly team. My work involves helping families at the worst time of their life when their child has passed away. The Butterfly Suites consist of a lounge area and in the lounge there's a bed settee and parents can sleep on the bed settee if they want to or they can go upstairs to get an allocated room. We also have a cuddle cot or a cooling blanket which also helps to keep the, the children cool after they've passed away. The children's rooms, we dress them age appropriately. They're just like children's bedrooms at home. We encourage families, if they wish, to bring their own bedding in. So it's like the child's bedroom at home. The best thing about working at Clare House is meeting all our children and young adults and their families and just playing a very small part in their lives, which is an absolute privilege. I work with some of the kindest, most passionate people. I think if you asked anyone, one of the things that they would say is, you know, we're all here to make a difference. 